Welcome back to another episode with Just Fanning It, guys. We're picking up from our last episode where we leave the most beautiful part of South Australia, and that's the coastline. And we've decided the weather's gone bad. We're heading inland to one of our favourite places we visited four years ago, and that's the Flinders Ranges. We can't wait to share with you what's in this episode, so let's jump straight into it. Brought to you by iCheck TPMS. Okay, we've just checked into was it Mount Little Station here in the Flinders. One of our first sort of station stays we're planning on staying at up here. And the people on arrival, what is her name? Kelly is just it's amazing. Superb. Absolutely amazing. But what hospitality. They actually offer quite a bit here. I didn't realize this so we might have to end up staying a few days we've only really booked two nights but she says if we need to stay longer it's fine but they booked out for easter weekend which is fair enough now apparently she's talking about 40 sites here and what i've seen hiking two-wheel drive tracks four-wheel drive tracks um there's a tavern that have pizzas but you have to ask what nights they actually open so unfortunately they're not open but she said she may open up tomorrow night for us not there's also a beautiful gorge walk with a swimming hole and Ooh. there's a maze with a oh, like a treasure hunt for the kids as well so and there's a lookout spot that you drive up to and you write your name on on mount little and you leave it up there so there's all sorts of stuff they've been very thoughtful in terms of families and travelers in terms of what they're looking for but we'll be able to Oh. display it all i've got to say the drive up to where we're going to be camping is something like oh, amazing check this out when you come over the hill here look at this oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow what amazing and you know don't get us wrong absolutely love like beach and and south australia offers a lot of beach camping right but come up to the flinders ranges you're, you're greeted by something different i don't even know how to explain it eh? yeah. like the ranges the sunsets unfortunately the flies <laughs> but i've got something to sort that out the emus the kangaroos it's just an awesome experience and different to one that you get on the coastline so you've got to do it by Here we are, campsite number six, parked up. It is a massive campsite, plenty of space. Got the mat out for a little bit of luxury. And, um, uh -oh. what do you think? Wow, the views are just spectacular. Something about a fresh shower when you live in a caravan that you just appreciate it that much so we've gone up to the actual ablutions um, showers and toilets just up the way and decided to use them to conserve the water in the van because this campsite is self-contained um, and Derek's on the dough which is great dough with Derek I think we've had a few of these series now we're um, waiting for a winner so 
we've we've whipped our dough up in our in our blender like we've showed you just recently in an episode. The old ninja. And um, we thought we'd show you because we couldn't. So what we forgot to so say, we actually when we went into the little shop in Hawker yesterday on our way to that camp, it was actually closed. We actually just shot back in. It was about ten minutes drive, and they unfortunately didn't have bread. But we got a few little bits and pieces. Now we've made a, a loaf and. We have made, oh, it's been years since I made this, but if you're looking to try something different, I'll show you. So we grab a little ball. Now, this is obviously gonna rise, so you don't wanna do it too much. And I don't think, look, there's only two of us, so you don't need a really big pan. So what you do is you make little balls and you start putting them next to each other. We'll show you in a minute. Like the so finished what size product. of the ball? Slightly bigger than a golf ball? Yeah, slightly bigger than a golf ball. And, um, what you start doing is you just start putting it next to each other, right? And I'm just trying to... Ooh. And you've just greased that pan before you put yeah, it I've in? I've just greased it with a bit of oil, yeah. Very good. Now you're rolling your balls. Now I'm rolling little balls and I've just popped them up next to each other in um, this pan. Actually, you know what? It must probably just be enough dough here. And we're going to show you... And this was probably takes making the dough. Well, you don't have to make the dough. You can buy dough if you want. Um, this probably takes all in all about an hour to make the dough and then let it rest for 30 minutes then make it and then it was probably goes in for about 25 minutes um and i'll tell you what if i get this right when it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while it this is what makes me nervous it is so nice with what with the ingredients so let's quickly get these balls rolled up and then we'll get into what we do with the rest all right next steps all right now that we got our little balls done I use lactose free but just a tub of cream I don't know I can't remember if we're going to use one or two so what you basically do is you just pour this through the bread now you must this is most probably not for the faint-hearted <laughs> <laughs> yeah we only gonna need one cream all right not even all of it just because it's so small now the best thing for this is like that diced bacon that you get from a um, thing, you just sprinkle the diced bacon over the top of the bread. Alright, we've got a little bit more, why not? This stuff is real good. You never have too much bacon. No. This is really a dish in itself, isn't it? Once you get bacon yeah. and cheese in this it. This is nice to do with a casserole dish or, you know, like a curry or something like that. But, you know, instead of having garlic bread, we're going to be doing this. Now, another thing is the. Um, What's this one called again, love? Um, so that's just your French onion soup. French onion soup. You just sprinkle a little bit of fresh onion soup across the top. Your bowl is blocking. Oh, right. sherbet, sorry. That's all good. Shattered nerves. So that's actually half a sachet of French onion yeah. soup. It's probably not going to need all of it. And then some shredded cheese. I've got I've had the Weber on. And we just pop it into the Weber for I think it's like 25 minutes. I can't remember, but we'll just check it. Yes. Oh look. Yes, here we go. Now, hopefully that all rises, all that stuff just cooks into the top of the, the, the those rolls and then you cut those rolls up, they'll eventually form and then um, you use that and you'll have that, oh it's just, uh, let's hold thumbs, this works. <laughs> I've got it right every other time but hopefully we can get it right now. Alright guys, here we go, bread's done, oh. look at this, oh. absolutely beautiful. Now. The climb into bed, the wind is absolutely blowing a gale, yeah. Mmm. And we're gonna catch, we're gonna explore this area a little bit. We're gonna use, we're gonna take some time and we're gonna spend a bit of time here in the Flinders. So this is not just it. I'm gonna pop this in here to warm up for a bit. Just look at this. A little bit of butter. Ho 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 ho. Mint, baby! 
Guys, we've just been woken up. It's it's four o'clock in the morning and it is absolutely blowing. I don't even know how to explain it. More than a gale. I've never felt a caravan shake and twist like this this caravan has been since midnight. Yeah. I've had a look and it says that um it's only really blown twenty knots, but this is way worse than 20 knots. Yeah, I'm just trying to wait and see if it gusts. Like, it, it just comes out of nowhere. It and says the wind gusts are just over th uh, 30 knots. 30 knots is about 50 kilo of winds. But I don't know, maybe because we've parked the caravan side on, it's just hitting the side of the van. So apparently it gets worse tomorrow night. It's blowing. 38 knots tomorrow night and then gusting even more than that so yeah I and I can give you we aren't around any trees I can give you one or two by towing this so we hadn't going anywhere no but I reckon if we get up with the sun's over we turn the van to face into the wind it might not shake and move around so much but I've literally had Which no sleep where's the wind going to blow tomorrow I don't know. <laughs> uh, figure that out, eh? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll try and get some sleep, mate. And see, pick this up in the morning. Good day, guys. What a day today. We've um, had a little bit of recovery after last night's fiascos. Right. What do you reckon to last night's fiascos? Night. Yeah, four years traveling, I've never witnessed it like that. <laughs> holy, holy but, shit. Do you know how it's going to add a feather to our cap? Yes. Another notch on the belt. We survived. S surviving high oh, it's winds. it's a whirly. Look, it's a whirly. There was one. It's a whirly. What are you looking at? No, there's a whirly, little whirly whirly. Oh, whirly. Yeah. All right. But we'd, we've been graced with not that, that overcast that we had when we arrived. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm looking over at the sun going down over there. Those mountains are really lit up beautifully over there, but we've got something exciting happening tonight because um, we believe at um, Mount Little Station, there's quite a bit going on, like we said. Now, there's a tavern that do wood fight pizzas. They weren't going to open up um, the tavern until next week, which is Easter. But the lady came around, she goes, we've, we've, we've come up with an executive decision. <laughs> and, that executive and that executive decision. decision is they are going to do it and they're going to open the tavern tonight. So, it's a, I've t I, I, today I took a little drive just to get out the van to have a look at what happened with the weather last night. And I've got to say, one thing about Mount Little Station, you, you are spaced out, like all mine's over there, but we're on the one side of, of Mount Little Station. We've got it like, it takes about 20 minutes because of the, 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 the dirt road to drive and you have to actually drive to the tavern. You can't sort of walk, but that's okay. You um, could walk. Oh, no. It would be a good walk. Oh, no. We're not, I ain't walking <laughs> that, mate. I'll give you one eye tip. But, and also, when the wind blows, it's just cool. It's nice. It's nice. Because, although with the wind last night, mate, this van, was I was watching it down the centre of the caravan. It was twisting with the wind. <laughs> like, I've never experienced that. Oh, you are so funny. No, but I have to say, even I wake up and I sleep like the dead, but all good. All Let's good. get off. I'm going to take a flannel because pizza. what I was going to say is that it, when that wind blows or the sun dips beyond the cloud, you've got to have a flannel on, which is nice. Like, it's not scorching hot. All right. Bobby's ready to go. Come on, mate. No, no, we're not coming this way, mate. Come on, Bobby. Hey, buddy. Okay. Come on. This Let's way. go. I am excited for wood, oh, wood fired pizza. I mean... How good is it to find a wood fire? It's good enough to find a pizza, but a wood fire pizza. Come, Come on, baby. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Come on. Let's go and have a pizza. Out of Tevin. Look at the beautiful mountain, boy. Look at the beautiful mountain.
Okay, what did you find? Alpacas and camels. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if they were friendly though, so and when I walked up to them, the alpacas tried to run away and the camels were just staring at me. So <laughs> I didn't know whether I should go any closer. This is all ruin here. I thought it best to be cautious with wildlife. Well, I've got to say, the tavern is kicking off. There it is up here. 20, looks like 25 bucks a pizza. Not bad for being this remote. And look at the backdrop. <laughs> that tavern faces that. Now, I know the GoPro is probably... Oh, the wind. Because it's probably not showing how close that mountain range is, hey? But it's actually beautiful. Watch out for the camel poo. Whoa! Look out. Let's see what he had for breakfast. But, uh, quite a few people around. We're not sure if they sell alcohol or not here yet. I was a bit embarrassed asking, because we don't have any beer. But, um, let's go and check it out. We'll see what we got going on here. Confirmed, you managed to buy yourself a beer. So they sell um, Mount Little Station. Eight bucks a beer, not, not bad. Flinders Gin. That the was, only problem that is, was 10 bucks. Yeah, I know. And look, hold it up to yours. I'm going to need two, hey, mate. That's actually bloody nice. I might have a beer next then. We've ordered our pizzas, so you can pay cash and you can oh, tap with the cards. So tap with me card because I left my wallet back at the van. 25 bucks for all of them, eh? Or did it vary in price? I think it's each. I think it's 25 bucks a, yeah, it must be 25 bucks a pizza. Not bad for out here. Value in your and then you got a backdrop like that. <laughs> Good, isn't it? That's so good. This Sitting base, phenomenal. cooked perfect. Got that flavour in it, that's mint. This one one problem. Mm -hmm. we got you back to the view. Oh, hang on. Scoot around on the table so you can enjoy it. Grab us. This stuff's good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that is actually very nice. Hang on a minute. Yes. <laughs> look at this. Oh, what you got? Oh, You're this, up next, doll. This looks superb. This is the Mount Little Station Special, or Mount Little Special. Yeah. Lamb, onion. Yeah. What's going on there? Pumpkin. Okay. Rocket. Feta. A little bit of fly. Always, yeah. always flies when you're on a station, my sweet. Adds to the ambiance. You got to see the locals. Yeah, how good is this thing? I'm very happy. This, this is has made my, made my day. What a way to finish work. Look at that. That's our view from our table. Mint. Last night, pizzas were great. The atmosphere there was absolutely amazing. And we've been told that like on long week, like on Easter weekend, they've got all 40 sites booked out here. They've got a band coming. They do some really cool stuff up at the tavern. But um, it was very nice of them to actually open it up for the people they have here and do the pizzas. Oh, right up, boy. 
We're on a little our bit of a mixed grill for you for dinner. Mixed grill. Gonna... No, we're actually cooking now because we're going to head up the mountain, aren't we? Yeah, so at my little station, there's a hill between through those trees. And there's a track that goes up there, and apparently that's the Mount Little Lookout. But it's a four-wheel drive track. So we're going to cook up dinner now quickly, which is just that. I don't know. We'll have that now or when we come back. And we're going to join a couple that we met on the beach. And we're going to tackle that track up to the top. And hopefully, hold thumbs, we get a great sunset. Now, for there's no, there's no clouds in the sky. Look at that. What? We're going to go up there. We're just going to take our chairs and we're going to sit down and watch the sunset. I think that'll be cool. Now, I would think up there it's going to be pretty windy. So, anyway, we're still going to go up and have a, have a, have a bit of fun. Sue's um, day off tomorrow. Long weekend. <laughs> so, that gives us the opportunity now to utilize that extra day. Living the dream. And bring you some awesome content. Now, tomorrow we're going to hike to, there's a spring. I believe, look at this, look at that backdrop. Oh, You're on the road, Bobby. Hey, hey. Exciting times. So, we got, I had a quick snag. You did. I had a quick snag too. Put so, in the belly and it wasn't um, dinner, it was just a snack. Just a little snack. But, um, our destination's up there. So um, we've got um, Michael and his family in tow and um, they're going to come and join us up at the top for sunset and um, Michael reckons he hasn't done any four wheel driving well I hope we don't, it's not that bad because I don't have that much experience but anyway we'll if, it get, go. if it gets too hairy what we'll do is we'll just turn around and come back you know but it doesn't look that steep like yeah from here from here <laughs> I don't know <laughs> we have, have a go, eh? Have a bit of fun. Slow down, mama. Why you talk so mean? Good Lord, Nashville. It ain't what it seems. We got nice clothes and nice shoes. Somehow, <laughs> you've been nominated the experienced four-wheel driver. I don't know how that's <laughs> happened. I can give you that odd tip. So you've got two families following behind you, and they think you've got the experience. I don't know. Then? I don't know if I've got the experience to, but we'll see how we you go. know what? When you get given something, you sort of just gotta, <laughs> just gotta go with it. it. Oh, hang on a minute. Where do we go now? That's a good question. So this is the gone drive. Is that the Mount Little Track? Mount Little Track. I think it's to the right. That one. Yeah. So, Leader 101, take leader the right track. I think it's this way. <laughs> this yeah? Is, this is going well. This is going very well. <laughs> this is a great start. You know it, lad. Just trust in yourself. All right, let's not be cocky. All right, you know, what this is a... when, you know what happens when I say you get too cocky? That's when you when things go wrong. Tell me where you want to go. You decided to let some air out. I have indeed, darling. Oh, I think that's a good idea. It's quite rocky, otherwise it's fine. It's getting a bit rocky, so I'm just worried about the sharp rocks. So we'll just quickly run around, get some tire air out. And just do it properly, you know, you don't want to get hung up on a tire up here. What are you going down to? I'm going to go down to 35 and, and 20 on the front, I reckon. Just so that we get some, uh, some, some grip. Don't you hesitate. Grab my hand, where we land. I got the champagne. You can knock it back. Get on track, jump on, grab this thing. Double down, roll the dice, take off now, don't think twice. Hey, don't you want to play? Say, hey, don't you want to play? All right, we've made it to the top, and I've got to say, 
that did get a bit hairy but the, the reason why it's because you when you go up the hill you're just staring in the sun so um yeah but we've managed to we've managed to make it all the way up which is pretty cool and i'll tell you what there's no wind there's a slight breeze and um how's this for sunset you ended up being four cars to the top and apparently now there's another road out of here you go down here and go back around camp coming sort of down back down that way you know where I'm, I'm always showing you this one over here that just keeps going but actually when you turn around this is mint as well Sun will dip down. wow happy i did it This look out at Mount Little Station is absolutely blowing our mind away and to do it with a fair few foot people was just amazing and we sat up here we watched the Sun go down this place is just amazing and we can't wait to continue our journey with you in next episode in the Flinders Ranger. So from myself and Sue and Bobby, guys, we thank you so much for your support. If you haven't yet, hit the like and subscribe button to follow our journey. We've got some super exciting stuff happening. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.